Subscribe to my channel Imam Salik. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah amma ba'd. My respected brothers, sisters, honorable elders. Quran is an endless, countless, and imagineless, we cannot imagine, full of treasures of wisdom, depth of wisdom, that Quran tells us through not just open words, sometimes there is a wisdom in the Quran that subhanallah today when we read Quran we understand why Allah mentioned this at that time what was the lesson behind this verse we understood today today when we see the children and the youth is being taken away by shaitan by different means and ways and different gadgets on the name of technology on the name of mass communication on the na name of connectivity on the name of information on the name of you, you know jadidia modernism and then we go back in the quran إِذْ حَدَرَ يَعْقُوبَ الْمَوْتِ إِذْ قَالَ لِبَنِيهِ Ya'qub talking to his sons and asking them مَا تَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ بَعْدِي that if I die إِذْ حَدَرَ يَعْقُوبَ الْمَوْتِ Ya'qub alayhi salam is about to die on his deathbed when he is talking to إِذْ قَالَ لِبَنِيهِ their sons come to me I want to talk to you there is a special talk. Father talking to the son. On, in, in another place. إِذْ قَالَ لُقْمَانُ لِبْنِهِ يَا بُنَيَّ لُقْمَانَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ There are scholars, they say that Luqman was not a prophet, but he was a wise person talking to his son. And on the other hand, son talking to father. إِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ آذَرَ Son talking to the father. And then father talking to the son. فَلَمَّا بَلَغَ مَعَهُ السَّعِيَ قَالَ يَا بُنَيَّ إِنِّي أَرَى فِي الْمَنَامِ So what was the wisdom behind these conversations? We were talking about that Ya'qub a.s. wants to talk about at tawheed and Ibrahim alayhi salam wants to talk at Tawheed with his father. Ibrahim alayhi salam wants to talk with his son about an order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Luqman talking to his son about the wisdom. But today the scholars are saying that Allah told us these conversations to know that if you as a father, as a parent, not going to talk to your children, not giving them time, they will be taken away by shaitan and then you will see and then you will say that why my children are not listening to me. These conversations giving us a wisdom Talk to your children, give them time. Don't just allow them to be with the gadgets all the time. And we know shaitan is attacking from all the ways and means, my brothers and sisters. Every way, shaitan. From every side. From your front, from back, from right, from left, from up, from down, everywhere. And we are not talking about one piece of land. The environment in the, in the greater ball of the world now is turning upside down. You will hear the news every day that now shaitan has specifically, specially attacking your children attacking your children and now there are groups and people 
they are coming in front they are worshiping shaitan openly they are making their worshiping centers where they are claiming and they are hitting the constitutions of the world that we need to bring shaitan as a lord and they are worshiping shaitan and they are teaching the new generation that shaitan is a lord brothers sisters a mother sits watching her videos and give a gadget to the child to let her play, let him play. What is she doing? She is handing over the child by herself to the shaitan. Wallahi, today we have to be very concerned and we have to be very alert. Even I think that they are learning something from these technologies, but they are going away out of my hands and out of my control. I Nowadays, our mashaykh, our scholars are warning us that there will be a time that you will come to the imam and you will come to the sheikh and say that my child is saying there is no God. My child is saying there is no, Muhammad, there is no prophet, there is no book, there is no akhira. What are you talking about? Rubbish, jannah, jahannam, ridiculous, nothing. So before that time arrives and comes to you, be alert. Make friendship with your own children. Talk to them and give them time before they are taken away by shaitan. So my brothers, Wallahi, the time has come that we have to wake up about our coming generations. Otherwise, we will not be able to do anything.